welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you what to do with that sourdough starter discard. I don't know about you guys, but I always feel so guilty every time I just dump it in the trash in order to refeed our starter. So this recipe is perfect because it is so quick and easy to do. You can use it with just the few ingredients that you have on hand and it is delicious. It's the best little snacking food in my opinion. So without further ado, let's make these delicious, easy sourdough discard crackers. So you would of course require a kitchen scale in order to accurately measure out the discard for your sourdough. So I am going to be using this recipe in grams today, so I hope that's okay with you guys. But I know that we all use grams in order to feed and remove our sourdough discard. So the recipe today is going to be in grams. It's just really easy that way. I basically just put a big bowl down and measure out all my ingredients and we're good to go. My personal recipe calls for 25 grams of sourdough starter to be held in my jar, meaning basically I have up to 200 grams of discard waste, so that's exactly what we'll be needing in this recipe, but feel free to adjust this in order to fit your starter needs, guys. It's just, it's very simple. You'll see when I make it how easy it is. So set this discard aside. This is normally what you would throw away each day. Set it aside and let's prepare the rest of the ingredients for these crackers. So first things first, before I even add the sourdough discard, I like to use the flour first because the discard can sort of stick to the bottom of the bowl. So we just need 100 grams of whole wheat flour. Okay, and now that we have the flour, I'm going to just momentarily set that aside and we are going to be measuring out our butter. We need just 60 grams of butter and this will be unsalted butter. Okay, so now with our butter, I'm just going to quickly microwave this for a couple seconds. So let's add in our butter. I slightly melted this for 30 seconds in the microwave and it is basically still firm but also a little bit melted and that's what you want. Now at this point, we can also add our sourdough discard. We are just going to add the entire thing. Scrape it clean because we really want as much as we can get. This is what will give the crackers their iconic sourdough flavor. As you can see, I have just a little over 190 grams of discard. Reset your kitchen scale to zero and now we are going to be adding the salt. I add about five grams of salt. Next, we are going to be adding our herbs and spices. This part is very simple. I add about, I would say, five grams of herbs and spices. It's honestly up to you. Some of them are lighter than others, so it depends what you're using. I'm going to be using some garlic powder. As you can see, about two grams. Then some onion powder. Another two grams. Some pepper. A couple shakes of that. Some of the ingredients are very light so you won't see the grams going up, so I usually just do them by eye. Next, a few dehydrated chive rings. That looks about good. A tiny little bit of parsley, and just a little bit of Italian seasoning. Just a tiny little sprinkle for a flavor. This has just some thyme, rosemary, basil, sage, oregano, just a tiny, tiny little bit. Now I'm happy with the spices in this bowl. Now we are going to grate in some Parmigiano or Reggiano cheese. This is the best part. They usually say that you should put in as much as you can afford when it comes to Parmesan cheese, but in this case, I put in about 15 grams of grated Parmigiano Reggiano. Okay, so our crackers are perfectly seasoned and spiced and salted. They're going to be so delicious. All that's left is to mix this. So we are going to just quickly mix this in the KitchenAid stand mixer with the paddle attachment. If you'd like to do this by hand, go right ahead. It's also very easy, but even easier is the KitchenAid. So let's get that out. Now you really don't want to use the whisk attachment for this because the batter is going to be quite thick so you want to use the paddle attachment or of course with a spatula by hand by all means. So we're going to let this go on a low speed at first and then you'll see it come together very quickly. Okay, as you can see that took less than a minute. I never went past the three speed because it really doesn't require a heavy beating speed. Now we are going to place this in some plastic wrap and then put it in the fridge for 30 minutes at least just for the flavors to come together and for this dough to get a little bit firmer so that we can roll it out. Use your clean hands and we are going to just roughly shape this into a rectangular shape. Just going to roughly shape it now so that it's much easier to roll out in the future. We are going to cover it with the plastic wrap. So it is perfectly wrapped up in a nice rectangular shape in this plastic wrap. I'm going to pop this in the fridge for about 30 minutes 
or as long as you want until you're ready to bake. So you can clean up, set your oven, and by the time everything is ready to go, so will this dough. So now that our oven is set to 350 degrees, we can now begin rolling out our sourdough discard crackers and getting them ready for the oven. We are going to be baking these for about 28 to 30 minutes, I would say, or until the edge of the crackers are golden brown. Okay, so I cut out a nice sheet of parchment paper to fit my pan. I have the parchment paper on here for now because we are going to be rolling out our sourdough crackers. But first, let's sprinkle on just a little bit of flour onto the surface just to make sure that they come off very easily after. And now let's get our sourdough discard dough out of the fridge. So we have our dough in the plastic wrap. It is nice and firm, but still very flexible. If you keep this overnight, you might need to let this sit on the fridge for about 20 to 30 minutes or so, just probably while your oven is going so that you can roll it very easily but this is just 30 minutes later so it's very easy to roll out so with our dough in the center of our parchment paper we are going to just sprinkle on a light little dusting of flour it will be much easier to roll this way now we're going to slowly roll this out because this is a nice firm dough it's not very sticky or anything like that you don't have to put on too much flour, but that definitely helps to roll this out. So again, using that nice rectangular shape that we put this dough in the fridge with actually is helping us to roll out the dough to be a nice uniform size. We want it to be thin, as thin on the sides as it is in the middle, so be careful when you're rolling this out. Okay, now when you see it start to come up around the sides, you know that your dough is done rolling. It's about as thin as we should probably get it. So it's about 16 to 18 inches long and it's about, I would say, 9 to 11 inches wide and that's perfect. Transfer the dough and now what we are going to do is we are going to rub it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. So I would say that's about one tablespoon or so of extra virgin olive oil. You just want enough to cover, lightly cover, the entire surface of this cracker dough. So a nice thin layer of this extra virgin olive oil and you're going to just lightly brush that on so that it covers the entire surface. Okay, and now before we salt this, we are going to cut this. I just use a pizza cutter. It's very simple. We're just going to cut it in strips. I would say they're about, oh, maybe nearly one inch thick. So just cut and don't worry about the edges if the edges aren't perfect. Now we are going to go the other way as well. Now don't worry when you're cutting these with a pizza roller how even or odd your shapes are because these are like rustic homemade crackers and I think they look really pretty that way. Now I have this beautiful Malden salt. This one is smoked. I honestly don't really notice the difference between the smoked and the unsmoked, but I just love this salt. It's beautiful and it looks so nice on the crackers. So lightly sprinkle some on, get enough on each cracker. And I have a little trick in order to make these bake very evenly that involves taking out the middle section of the sourdough crackers and placing them on the edge. Leaving some room in the center. It looks very strange, but it's actually really helpful when it comes time to baking these crackers. They bake very evenly this way, I find. Okay, so that looks good. Now let's place this in the oven. And also about halfway through baking, I would say when you're about 15 minutes in, just rotating the pan in the oven so that the front cooks the same as the back. This just helps because everyone's oven is a little bit different and we really want these to cook evenly. Okay, so as you can see, the edges have been browned slightly. That's why I also like to put the insides towards the outside so that they cook nice and evenly. And now we are going to let these cool on the pan for about five minutes or so and then transfer them onto a wire rack to cool completely. I then transfer them to this bowl and now we are basically ready to eat, guys. This is probably my favorite part of filming. But as you can see, that was so easy to do. It requires such minimal effort and you can even play around with the ingredients to suit your taste or your needs, this is just a basic guideline of how I make my sourdough discard crackers, but you can put any kind of flavorings you'd like and they will still be so delicious. So I'm really excited to try these, even though I've tried them hundreds of times already. They're so good and I had to tell everyone who is in this house to not eat these because I need them for this video and a couple little grubby hands might have picked a couple, but here they are, they're so beautiful. Mm, they smell so good. You can really smell the herbs in that Parmesan cheese. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. So let's give these a try. Mm. 
Mmm. You can hear that crunch. Guys, I can't describe how good the savory flavor of these sourdough discard crackers are. Seriously, I have no need to ever buy crackers from the grocery store anymore because they're so easy to make and if you do have a sourdough starter, you'll know how much discard you waste. So why not just add a little bit extra flour to that and a few more ingredients and you can make crackers. So I'm really happy to share this recipe with you guys. It's quite easy and it's just so satisfying and the fact that you can easily make your own homemade crackers it's just, there's just something about it that I can't explain. They're good all year round and they're such a nice light snack. So I do hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. But until next time guys, happy baking and please let me know if you do give this recipe a try. It's one of the easier recipes, but it's honestly one of the best. Thanks guys, bye.